Yes. In this video, we are going to already we have seen the fixed partition and uh, variable partition. So, in a fixed partition, the memory size is divided into equal size. So, when a process arrives, it will be occupying that particular partition. So, here if you say that this is to be a fixed partition, so for example, fixed partition, uh, let us imagine this as a fixed partition. So, whenever a process comes, that will be occupying the process, uh, the memory. Okay, when they, uh, when the particular process completes its uh, process, then it will be removed from the memory and this space will be declared as free. So, the operating system keeps a table where uh, it consists of the partitions uh, number or whatever it is and then whether they are free or not that or, or that information should be kept by the operating system so whenever a new process comes in and it demands a space of the uh, it wants a space of the memory then the operating system will check its table where it keeps a, a pool of uh, memory information and checks whether a particular space is free and whether that particular space is enough for the process which, uh, which is coming inside then it will allocate that memory if it is uh, enough then it will allocate that memory to the particular process suppose uh, say here if it is uh, if that particular process that cost is more then it cannot be allocated that is a disadvantage with the fixed partition whereas in variable partition the after the operating system has been allocated some space the remaining space will be called as a big hole. So, whenever a process gets in, that will occupy. Say, for example, this is a 2K process means it gets some 2K. Then when a 10K comes, then after the 2K, the 10K will be allocated. Then the remaining space, the next incoming process, if it has enough space for that particular. Say, for example, here 2K is there and that process is requesting 2K, that will be allocated. If it is requesting 3K, then it will be put in the wait, wait queue. So that because uh, some process has to be released so that the incoming process can be added into the uh, into the memory. So here, if you see this, the uh, three process occupied uh, some space. They are all of various sizes. That is why it is called variable partition. Now this process said it releases it, it has completed its uh, work or its process and then it releases this memory once it has completed its process it releases the memory now this is a big memory compared to these two now the next process comes but which it does not require this much space so whatever the space required that will be allocated then this uh, previously this was in the pool of available free memory then after this allocation the remaining space uh, uh, will be made as uh, declared as free and it will be informed the operating system will keep track of this space. Then the next process comes, say for example, process 10, which may be, which may uh, take space more than this. If it is 2K, then this may be 4K. That will be occupied with the remaining space is again declared as free. So all these informations are maintained by the operating system. And we call this as a hole, a big hole, which will be keep on allocated by the operating system. So for example, if this process is completed, then it releases the memory then these two will be joined together and make it as a the one big hole for the next process to be allocated so that is what we have seen in the previous uh, class now in this uh, because of this uh, how you can allocate the holes because just now we have seen there are many holes will be formed say here 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 suppose process 5 is completed here the space will be the Suppose process 2 is there, that it will, the space will be there, like that and so on. So how this, uh, when a new process comes, how uh, uh, how the newly arrived space get the hole from the pool of n, size n list. So there are three, three algorithms, first fit, best fit and worst fit. So what is the first fit? First fit, uh, suppose uh, it, what it do is, the, whichever the first hole comes, even if it is big, so allocate the first hole that is big enough. So here, <coughs> now if you see that allocate the first hole that is big enough means, suppose this process 5 is free, okay. The next process, say for example 11 is coming and it will not search this. It will see the first, start after the operating system, whichever 
space is free it will allocate so even if uh, that process this space is enough uh, it will and this process this space is more it will occupy this only so the first uh, coming across hole will be occupied by the incoming process that is called first fit then the best fit here best fit is so for example if this is a 2k and this is 3k 4k 5k and so on so for example let me show you so here see here uh, let us uh, consider this to be some is um, say some 2k okay and this let us say this to be some uh, 5k okay yes now this is uh, let us say here is some 3k so partitions of various sizes now let me say here is some 5k So, after so let us imagine another process, say process 11 is coming inside. That process 11, it requires, uh, say, some uh, 3, uh, 5k. Uh, now, here is also one 5k is there. Here is also one 5k is there. Now, what happened? Uh, let, let us imagine one process which is coming inside. It requires say some one uh, k of memory. Let us imagine. Now uh, let us say this has been completed and this is free. Now what happens here? Uh, this arrived uh, and this is also free. Let us say uh, here. This is also this space is also free. Sorry. Yes. This is also free. Now you know that this is 5k and this is 2k. Now the incoming automatically the first space is available, which is of 2k. So in, in the 2k space, this 1k will fit in. So this will be allocated. This 1k job will go there. Okay. So, uh, so here it will occupy that space. Suppose uh, this is also free. Imagine. Uh, this is also free. Suppose a job with 2k is arriving. Now what happened? Here, this is also free. Uh, suppose this is not free. Imagine this is not free. This is occupied. Okay. And here, uh, say some uh, uh, 3k. 3k space is free. And here already we have seen 5k is there and 3k is there. So, here, this space is also free, which is of that 5k because just the process 9 has completed and released this memory. 5k is there, 3k is there. According to efficient, what happened? It has to search for its correct fitting. Here, 5k is, is coming first. So, this 2k job will be allocated here because this is a hole available and this is a hole available. Uh, according to our first fit, whichever hole comes first, that and that, and if it fits in, then it will be uh, this particular process gets the space. Here it is 5k space is there, so this 2k will occupy. Whereas in best fit, what happens? This 5k will not be allocated. This 3k will be allocated because only 1k is wasted here. Whereas if it allocates the 5k here, nearly 3k space will be wasted. So, what happens in a best fit? So, according to our previous, that is this slide. First fit, it allocate the first hole. 
So if it is uh, enough, then it will be stored. If it is able to store the particular process, it will not see whether it is big or thing. Uh, it will only check whether that particular process will fit in. Whereas in best fit, allocate the smallest hole that is big enough. So what happens in this case, the OS has to keep a list based on uh, uh, size order. Uh, uh, say for example first 2k 3k 4k what are all the sizes available what are all the partitions available and it has to keep it in a sorted order then only the coming uh, process uh, will find the correct place to fit in so best to fit is according to our previous uh, this uh, when a 2k comes it will not be allocated in the 5k whereas it will be allocated in 3k because uh, this space is enough for this that is called best fit. So in this case, what happened? It produces a smallest leftover hole. Very small, uh, the, very minimum space will be left out by the uh, partitions. Whereas another one is first fit. What happens? Whichever is the biggest hole that will be placed, the incoming process will be placed in the largest hole. Even if it needs very small space, it will be placed. So here first fit whichever comes first whichever hole comes first in that if it is enough if enough space is there in that it will be placed whereas in the best fit the os will keep has to keep a ordered uh, size partitions and whichever is free that information also it has to keep and the incoming will have the smallest uh, uh, hole that is big enough to hold this incoming process that will be allocated and in the worst of it allocate the biggest hole so in this case, lot of space is wasted. So first fit and best fit, they are better than the worst fit in terms of the speed and storage utilization. And this we call it as dynamic storage because then when that it will be stored. But here, the problem which comes because of this is fragmentation. We will see the fragmentation in the next video.